I'm now joined by Arturo Lopez Levy via Skype from the U.S. state of Texas. He's a former political analyst for the Cuban government and co-author of the book Raul Castro and the New Cuba, A Close-Up View of Change. He's currently a lecturer at the University of Texas. Why don't I start with this address by Fidel Castro? Your thoughts? Mike, this is a, a kind of far well addressed by former President Fidel Castro to the Congress of the Communist Party. This is the second Congress of the Communist Party, the sex the, in which uh, Fidel Castro is not the leading figure. He come at the last minute, he basically make a very short speech. It's more emotional than I think uh, uh, giving a political guideline, although uh, it contains some elements about the, an encouragement to the Cuban Communist Party to keep on its road. Arturo, uh, let's talk a little bit about age. You've got Fidel Castro, 89, speaking today. His brother is 84, and Raul Castro, second in command, 85 years old. The old guard still firmly in place, but Raul Castro also saying, this would be the last such Congress led by the historic generation. I want to get your thoughts on that. Well, biologically, Mike, there is no much space there for the historic generation of the Cuban Revolution, the people that went to Sierra Maestra with Fidel Castro. As you, you mentioned, uh, this year, uh, Raul Castro will be 85. It's just in June, a couple of months uh, more. And the second in command is not spring chicken. He is already uh, 85 in his road to 86 in uh, September. Uh, what is interesting, and I think is important as an institutional change, is that now to join the Central Committee, you will have to be younger than 60, and to join the, uh, to, to get a position in the Politburo, uh, the age limit will be 70 as it is typical in the Chinese Communist Party and the Vietnamese Communist Party. It is quite convenient because uh, half of the Politburo is above 70, but it will not be applicable to the original generation of the revolution, but uh, it goes together with the renewal process that already took place at the lower level, at the lower, at lower, at lower levels of the Communist Party. Most of the leaders of the party in the provinces are uh, younger than 50. Arturo, I heard one expert say that this is very much a Congress of continuity and not change. Is that a good way to sum it up? Uh, any surprises here? You, you know, the, the main thing, Mike, is that there has been an expansion of the margins of the reform. Uh, 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 the reform has been broadened in in depth and also uh, an experiment that was conducted in the provinces of Mayabeque and Artemisa will be expanded to the rest of the country. So economically, there is, a, 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 let's say, some speeding up of the process of reform. But politically is, as you said, a lot of continuity of the model of reform that is very gradual, gradual and the current leadership is still in charge of the accelerator and also of the brakes. Quickly, if you can, uh, you mentioned the age uh, breakdown. Uh, uh, looking for new blood, I guess, is a good way of putting this. Um, I want to get your thoughts on, on leadership in Cuba and this transition to the future. How might that look? I think that there, there will be a generation that is already uh, waiting. It has been in, uh, several mem new members were added to the Politburo. Uh, so it is not fair to say that the Politburo was not renovate, renewed, but uh, they tend to be uh, technically oriented, a lot of engineers, uh, people on the biotechnology sector, uh, also people with a more leaning to a nationalist tendency, not so much all communists, and also they tend to be uh, more friendly, have more friendly attitudes towards market reforms and the introduction of the uh, private property in the non-state sector. Arturo Lopez-Levy, joining us from Texas. Thanks so much.